Most of you have heard from your moms or your grandmothers about how chicken soup can cure the common cold. Well, my grandmother actually told me that chicken soup could cure everything. But I'm here today to tell you how chicken soup can make you skinny. I'm Sugar with CookingWithSugar.com and this month I'll be 45 and chicken soup has helped me stay skinny all these years and I'm going to show you how to make it. I told you this year that I was going to share some of my secrets about staying healthy and fit by cooking and eating real food. Chicken soup is actually one of the core meals that I eat during the week and it helps me to stay healthy and lean. Every week I make a giant pot of soup. I usually eat half of it during the week and freeze the other half. So I always have a lean, healthy choice for a meal. The real trick to staying healthy and fit is to do something every day. What I like to do in the morning before I'm gonna go work out is I put on this big pot of soup. So I'll get my soup going and then I'll go off to the gym and I'll either lift weights or I'll bike or I love to do yoga or I find some activity that I like to do and I do it once a day. So many of you have actually asked me what I do specifically for my workout. So I've put a link below to my actual workout. So if you're interested in that, you could see that link below. So let's get started with making the soup and talk about the ingredients. Um, I first like to start off with beautiful fresh vegetables and here's where you can get creative. I mean the staples for soup are naturally your onions, your celery, your carrot. I like to use um, turnips and parsnips and I also love leeks in my soup. You could use some potatoes and then some of the fresh herbs that I like to use are dill and some parsley. Then you can also get creative with what you add. Like I'll add a little pasta or I'll do a noodle or rice or sometimes a brown rice or a whole wheat pasta. You really can put anything you like into the soup. Another basic ingredient is naturally the chicken. I like to use chicken thighs and I buy the boneless skinless chicken thighs because I just find that they're easy to use. You don't have to mess with the bones later on and it just makes the whole process so much simpler and, and they taste wonderful. The last and final ingredient for the chicken soup is chicken stock, chicken broth. I mean, you could just use water and some chicken bouillon or you can use ready-made chicken stock. So it took me about 20 minutes to chop up all of my vegetables and get everything ready to go into the pot. Now you can either do this in the pot on the stove or you can do it in your crock pot or slow cooker so that it can cook all day and you can go off to work. But today I'm making a double portion of this recipe, so that's why I'm using this giant pot. And to start off with, we're gonna drizzle some olive oil in the pan. And I'm gonna let that heat up for a second. And then I'm gonna start with my onions and leeks. And they're gonna go into the pan and get sauteed for a minute. Then I'm gonna add the rest of my vegetables. And today I'm also using butternut squash and I even chopped up a couple of garlic cloves to go in there. So get creative with this, you know, don't be some recipe robot. You want to really just add vegetables that you love, that you enjoy. And you can vary it from, you know, week to week, depending on what's in season or what looks fresh that day. Now I'm going to add all of my other vegetables. And I have butternut squash, turnips and parsnips and carrots. Look at how beautiful that is. And I'm going to just let these cook on the stove for a few minutes till they start to sweat. Look at this, this is one pot of love right here. Once the vegetables are sauteing, you're gonna to wanna to give it a good dosing of salt and pepper. Now I'm gonna add my chicken. And these are chicken thighs, but you could use chicken breast if you want it to be really lean. And again, I'm gonna salt and pepper this. I'm just gonna give this a little turn, mix everything up. And then I'm gonna add my chicken stock and my parsley and dill. And I'm gonna set this on a simmer and just let it cook away. I'm gonna turn this up and bring it to a boil just so I get it all nice and hot. Then I'm gonna turn it down to a simmer. It'll probably be done in about an hour and a half, two hours, but you could actually let it simmer real low all day or do it in a crock pot. So my soup's on. I'm gonna go in the garage, do a quick workout and let this simmer. And then later on after I shower, we're gonna give this soup a taste. Now it's done and it looks great. All the vegetables are cooked, the chicken is tender. And now's the time that you wanna add your rice or your pasta. 
I'm gonna add these tiny little pastas that I already cooked. And you wanna cook the pasta or the rice separately. And I just put a little olive oil on it so that they won't stick. So I'm gonna serve myself a bowl of this. I've been smelling this soup cooking all day now. And Italians like to have a little bit of grated cheese on their soup. So let's give this a taste. Mm. Oh, it's so good. There's nothing like a bowl of chicken soup. I think my grandmother was right. I think it does make everything better. So if you want to stay lean and healthy, trust me, make a big pot of chicken soup and eat it all week long. It freezes well, you can double the recipe, you can triple the recipe, and you can have it for weeks. So it's worth the effort. So that's just one of my secrets. Make sure you subscribe, and if you really wanna know what I do as far as my workouts, click on the link below, and you'll get my complete workout plan. For more recipes like this, be sure to log on to cookingwithsugar.com, and make sure you share me with your friends because this is one secret you're gonna to wanna to share. I love to hear from you guys, so please leave me a comment below because if there's anything you wanna see me do, let me know and I will try to get to it. It's gonna keep you skinny. Oh good. <laughs>